¿Qué discurso, muchas gracias, señora presidenta, qué discurso desgraciado del señor Comín, que todavía no se han dado cuenta ustedes de que lo que está en juego en Polonia es el Estado de Derecho y que eso es lo que rompieron ustedes en, en Cataluña cuando gobernaban. Eso, el Estado de Derecho, la capacidad de una sociedad para convivir, eso es fundamental y eso es lo que está en juego en Polonia. Madame... Gracias. Just a Madame von der Leyen, Mr. Commissioner, concluded the debate on the rule of law with a pretty shocking comment. Instead of proposing bold action, she opened the door for Poland's recovery plan to be approved. And the conditions she set was simply that the uh, Polish government commit to a country-specific recommendation on reforming the judiciary. That would be a terrible mistake. The Polish plan cannot be approved until Poland recognizes the primacy of European Union law. Let me just read out loud, Mr. Sefcovic, the uh, regulation and recovery facility. We agreed on a regulation that states that the plans to be approved, they must include member state system to prevent, detect and correct corruption, fraud and conflict of interest when using the funds on the facility. How can a country, Mr. Commissioner and the Council, how can a country, Mr. Minister, how can a country claim to have sufficient controls against corruption if it's judiciary it's independent? How can we legally, how can you legally argue that ignoring the European Court of Justice is compatible with the requirements of this RRF regulation? You cannot, because without a functioning judiciary, we cannot be sure that there is no corruption, that Poland will fight corruption. For decades, we Europeans have fought for the rule of law, and the key to that fight is the existence of a judiciary and of a European Court of Justice that defends the treaties. Dear colleagues, we should not concede an inch on that fight, and that's why we from Renew Europe call on you, the Commission, and you, the Council, to reject the Polish government's uh, recovery and reconstruction plan until this primacy of EU law is recognized. European money should not be at risk of being used to perpetuate the Polish ruling parties in absolute power. Thank you very much.